Danielle Mays was a first-time election volunteer, and she was excited to serve. But she says the experience was disappointing and made her think about all the ways things have to change before people show up at the polls in November. She outlined a 15-point plan that starts with more staffing. She says more people have to be on the job for the general election. She wants workers to be better trained. She says she only had one day of in-person training and one Zoom call to learn a completely new system that no one had worked with before. Danielle wants to make sure there are enough supplies. She says her location ran out of paper for people to vote on, and they were never given pens or hand sanitizer. But most importantly, she says people need to know where they should show up to vote. She told me countless people arrived at her precinct and were told their voting location had changed without notice. They have stood in line that whole entire time, and they have to stand another line to do the provisional paper ballot. We ran out of paper ballots. So at one point, we had to tell people, look, we're not going to be able to um, take your paper ballot. It's going to take some time. You can wait, or you can try to find your actual polling place uh, and go there. DeKalb County told me they are looking into it, but Danielle says it's so important that everyone's voice be heard. She's actually taking Monday off work to attend a rally at the state capitol about voting access. Our 11 Alive Decision 2020 team is following issues important to you throughout this election year. That's from the economy to problems at the polling sites. Let us know if you have something for us to cover.